Uh, you know, what's it been like being at USC, uh, you know, coming over from Arizona State to another Pac-12 school, but coming to USC, what's the experience been like so far for you? Uh, it's been great. You know, the coaches have been, you know, great in my development this offseason. I've had a great offseason, you know, building day-to-day, you know, on what I've been, you know, trying to do. You know, that's my overall goal is just over this offseason and my ultimate goal by the end of college. So, um, you know, they've been great in helping me facilitate everything I want to do, you know, with nutrition, strength, coaching, form, everything like that. You know, it's, been, it's been a great experience so far. Talk to me a little bit about goals for a punter. Like, wh- what are the goals for a punter? You know, most people say, oh, they just go out there and kick for a couple times. Uh, walk me through kind of what you, when you go into an offseason, how you're approaching it and what you're trying to get out of the offseason to get better. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously, off, after a lot of soft season, you know, I kind of took a look at myself. It's like, okay, what areas can I get better in? You know, there's there's a few different areas for punters. You can always get better in. It's always strength, um, mobility, and really consistency and like control you have over you know where you're punting. You know, field location. There's a lot of different variables that go into that. But um, I would say, you know, my goal every year, year over year, is to get stronger, more explosive. Um, and also this year, you know, just consistency day to day, you know, building good habits, um, you know, to build build consistency, and that's you know, the biggest thing for kickers and punters. You know, if you want to play at the highest level, you have to be you know elite in terms of that. You, know, you don't have to have the greatest build, you know, because you can build that in the weight room. But you have to be consistent. You have to have great attention to detail. So being consistent, especially my mentality, that was something that was really really big this year. So. What are the, some of the things you've done to work on your mentality? Um, day to day, you know, positivity, just coming in and having fun, you know, not putting too much stress on myself because I've been there, done that, you know, in stressful environments, you know, I, you know, when you have fun, you know, you're going to punt better and then when you punt better, you're going to have more fun, you're going to get more enjoyment out of that. So, you know, coming in and have a positive mindset, uplifting others as well, you know, not being selfish, you know, coming in and like giving out pointers to other people, you know, brightening other people's days, you know, that, you know, that goes a long way, especially in a very tight knit group. Um, to be, you know, not draining to people, you know, you want to stay away from that as much as you can, but, you know, being a positive influence on other people is a good thing. Who's the, the person on the team that brings the most joy to everyone else? Who gets, who's the one that makes everybody else the, happy when they're having a bad day? Um, obviously Caleb, you know, he's always there, you know, encouraging guys, you know, getting the best out of everybody. Um, I would say, it's, you know, each group probably has a guy like that, um, each position group within the team, you know, so it depends, you know, I probably wouldn't be the best to speak on which position group has that kind of guy, but, you know, a lot of skilled players, very energetic, very fun to be around, and, you know, especially a lot of specs, you know, great guys, you know, fun to be around and fun to get with. So. What about with the specialists? Who's the guy in y'all's group? Um, yeah, everyone's, you know, a solid, you know, solid day to day, you know, it's really too out there in terms of energy, you know, very consistent, very level-headed. So I would say, you know, there's like a super charismatic guy, but all guys are pretty level-headed, you know, always bring positivity. So. We're talking about working that connection. You go from one school to another, working the connection with your long snapper. How do you uh, kind of mold that? What do you try to do with the long snapper to get on the same page, to say, hey, this is what I like, this is what I don't like? How does that uh, camaraderie kind of come about? Um, it kind of comes about just, you know, being on the field and figuring things out. You know, obviously I have certain preferences in my snap location versus other guys. But, you know, as a long snapper, you know, if you snap the ball good, you're going to have no problems with the hunter, you know, no matter where, where you're at. So a lot of the guys, the guys have been great here. You know, Jack obviously starting last year, but, you know, Winetta and Daniel as well, they've been great this offseason helping me out. But you know, the chemistry has been there, you know, since spring ball. You know, obviously with great players, you know, it's very easy to transition into it. And it really is. How is your? How is it with Jack in particular? How is it his snapping? How would you grade him? I guess. Um, you know, he's elite. You know, he's one of the best. I would say in the country. Um, you know, very experienced guy. Been doing it for a long time. You know, especially in college. So, you know, I had a younger guy at ASU. He's obviously immensely talented. He plays at Ohio State now. You know, so he's great. But you know, there was some. You know, you know, learning experiences. Obviously, when you're coming in and starting. You know the first time at college but you know having experienced guy you know I have a lot of trust in him. Um, are you looking forward to game days just to see Dennis Lynch's outfits uh yeah that's gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna be very interesting to see uh, it's gonna be fun 
um, you know, more excited for the actual game. <laughs> but yeah, that will definitely be something that's going to be enjoyable. Do you plan to go a similar route where you have unique game day, or are you pretty uh, low key with it? Um, I definitely say, um, um, I'm, you know, I throw a pretty good outfits. So I'm right. pretty in the fashion, you know. So I'm gonna have my own outfits. Maybe not as you know flamboyant, more of a subdued <laughs> kind of, you know. Um, you know, more subdued style, but you know, I'm definitely in the office. You talked about you wanting to, you know, be around guys that are having fun, and you know how that makes it a much more enjoyable experience. Obviously, Arizona State, there was a lot of turmoil and just unknowns, I guess. Um, to come into this situation with Caleb Williams returning, with all the expectations, how different is it? Just the vibe of where you're at versus now um, and what the expectations are because sometimes expectations can be not fun but how are you guys kind of handling that in stride? Um, you know obviously you know messy talented players you know very hard workers you know at both places but um, you know just in terms of the coaching staff you know it was, it was you know it was a lot going on last year so you know expectations were you know you know, do the best you can but here you know we're going for a national championship you know every day you know we're you know completely locked in with everything we do so you know it's uh it's it's i would say it's more focused um so you know more because of you know how last year turned out you know versus you know so you know obviously you know a lot of great people still there but um you know just with the turnover and everything you know um it was just a little bit higher you know have our sights a little bit higher i would say this last season for you, what would you say are your strengths uh, as a punter? Uh, I would say, you know, obviously leg strength, you know, is something that, you know, has always been with me, I would say, from a young age. Um, you know, just being, you know, very cool, calm, and collected, you know, that's something I, you know, every situation, you know, I'm not, you know, what's going on, you know, you know, struggling to figure out what I have to do, you know. I come into games, you know, I'm very focused, I'm very relaxed, you know. I've, you know, I've been there in, you know, big moments in, you know, playing big opponents, so I feel very comfortable, you know, stepping in wherever I'm at, whoever we're playing, you know, I would say that's my biggest strength, you know, knowing what I got to do to be successful day to day, carrying that out on a game day, you know, it's all about execution at this point. And how would you define a successful season for you this season? A successful season, I would say, would be you know, getting better day to day, you know, not losing my cool, you know, being very consistent day to day with my work ethic, my attention to detail, and not letting that slip up, you know. And if I do slip up, you know, catch myself immediately that I can be as consistent as possible, and, you know, with taking care of my body, taking care of my mind, doing things I need to do, you know, away from football, taking a step back, you know, so I'm refreshed and ready to go every day. Um, also academics, you know, being on top of that, you know, just having attention to detail and everything, and, you know, focusing on that and not, you know, oh, I have to do this at the end of the season, you know, you know, obviously with the accolades I had last year, you know, if I focus on, oh, I got priests all American, I got to do all American, that's not the way to go about, you know, really achieving your goals. It's day to day, doing what you can, you know, being present in the moment, you know, if I can do that every day, I know I'm going to have a successful season, so that's what defines a successful season for me. And then... On the roster, they have you listed as a as a punter slash kicker. Um, do you foresee yourself doing any kicking duties, whether it be kickoff or you know field goal stuff? No, obviously I'm going to you know, continue with kickoffs as I did last year. You know, field goals. You know, we all, we have some very talented guys, but you know, we'll, uh, you know, I would say that's a question for Coach Riley what he wants me to do. You know, I'm here to help the team out as much as I can. So.